Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to a brand new, uh, let's play Hearts Fire 4. We're gonna be playing a little bit more of the Great War mod here. And we're gonna be playing as Bulgaria, the wonderful, wonderful nation of Bulgaria. So we do start off, I would say, in a bit of a weird spot, right? We're here in the Balkans. Obviously, this is where the, the First World War is gonna start. And for us, we're gonna be going to war with the Ottomans. And we're gonna be going to war with Serbia, Romania, Greece. Basically, any country that's in the Balkans we're gonna be at war with in the next three years. So we've gotta prepare ourselves for that. Um, afterwards, we'll probably end up aligning ourselves with the Central Powers. Then, you know, hopefully be like the Russians or something like that. We'll, we'll kind of see. Yeah. I do believe I don't have um, historical focuses on. So we don't know exactly what everyone else is going to do. But the war against the Ottomans, I think, is basically guaranteed. So let's prepare our troops here. For our first national focus, what do we want to take? Urbanization... Air Doctrine. I mean, Air Doctrine's not bad. Free except the Conscription actually is pretty good. It saves 100 for the political power. But you know what? Let's go for the new Balkan power. This allows us to do the Lone Liberator. Balkan League formation has failed. Then the faction with Serbia. I mean, no matter what, we're going to be uh, attacking the Ottomans. Because we have what? Claims on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, seven states? Eight states? The Ottomans, let's just say the Ottomans have a lot of territory that we want in the future. Also, I need to make sure we're actually building some stuff here. So let's go with, uh, put some artillery in here. One, one, one. Sounds great. For our civilian, I guess we'll go with, like, we don't have a big economy. Let's go one military factory in uh, Eastern Ruthenia. And for our technology, we don't, we could have got the truck. It is a, it is a little bit ahead of time. But, you know, let's go with all of our basics here and our... Oh, yeah, I got the research bonus. Nice. Well, in that case, then I guess we'll go with breaks through plus 5%, 2%. You know what? Give me some early grenades. Sounds great to me. And our decisions available. I'm assuming this is just army and navy experience. Yes, it is. How many trains do we have? 14. Do I want to steal 15 trains for 5% stability? I think the answer is yes, I do. Yeah, and let's just get started here. So, as we get into uh, the Bulgaria campaign, what we're going to first be doing is hopefully aligning ourselves with Serbia, right? Me, Serbia, Montenegro, and Greece will all declare war on the Ottoman Empire. And then as soon as we beat the Ottomans, like, at the drop of a hat, like, it's we're just going to go to war with the Serbians, like, right afterwards. There's going to be a lot of wars. There's going to be a lot of conflict really, really early on. What do we do? You're anti... We get more claims even still. The Macedonian question. So are we going to be the ones kind of uh, making things happen here? The Lone Liberator. Reapproaches Austro-Hungary. I mean, I wouldn't mind just defeating the Ottomans one-on-one. -on -one. I think we could still do it. Especially, I believe, in 1912, the Italians will try to take over roads in Libya. So that gives us some headways um, to push our way into the Ottoman Empire as well. What do we have? We have promises of peace, which is basically garbage. We are currently a authoritarian government. We're not pro-fascist. Yeah, we're authoritarian here. Okay, and the king went to the... In okay, the king of Ferdinand, Bulgaria, today established a record of being the first monarch to go aloft in a heavier-than-air machine. Congratulations. I, I think you're a czar, right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're a czar of Ferdinand I. Okay, anti-Ottoman diplomacy... And what do we have? You are so expensive. National Assembly plus 15%. We do get more political power gain, which is nice, but everything else is so, so expensive. Expert Old Guard. You basically just give me army experience for free. But I don't know how good that actually is. I mean, you're cheap, though. 20 points. I'll take, I'll take you, at least for right now, I will take you. Because you're such an incredibly cheap advisor. 176. I mean, what do we have? 15% stability. Obviously, is really, really good. You need democratic. Which we're not going to be doing. I mean, honestly, most of these guys kind of suck. Let's go with the popular figurehead. Give me that 15% stability boost. 15%? Like, it, at, that's a lovely number. I'm, I'm very, very happy to have a 15% boost here. So, I will definitely, definitely take it. Okay, Korea's been annexed by the Japanese. 
But really, what goes on in uh, in Asia doesn't matter to us too, too much, right? Like, who who cares? I mean, I guess we're the central powers, and we kind of care a little bit, because Japan will probably end up aligning themselves with the Entente. China also ends up aligning themselves with the Entente as well, which does make things a little bit more complicated than they otherwise would need to be. But that's okay. Okay, anti-Ottoman diplomacy. Let's go immediately to the Macedonian question. Now, I don't believe we can actually invade until the Italians attack first. So whenever Italy attacks, that's when we get the opportunity to move into the Ottoman Empire. Presumably, at least. Promises of peace. Just turn all of these off for right now. I don't get. I don't want the notification on top of my screen. But unfortunately, like as Bulgaria, we are not very wealthy. Who can we actually buy stuff from? Austria, Germany, China, Spain, Luxembourg, Montenegro. Okay, so mostly Eastern Europe. Is there anything we want to buy? I mean, we could just buy a bunch of Russian rifles. You would not accept. Length of contract is way too long. Base reluctance. Okay, well, let's let's see if we can take off 15 deliveries, huh? But for 8,000... I mean, how many rifles do we produce right now? Six a day. Calculate this. Um, that's 8,000 rifles over six a day. Basically, four years of rifle production going at the current rate. That seems pretty good. Even if it does cost us a lot. So, you know, well, let's go with... Let's just buy 5,500 rifles. We'll do that with two swing factories, get that in 15 deliveries. And do we want trains? I think the answer is yes. So let's buy... Can I just buy 10? Yeah, buy 10 Austrian trains. I like. I, I think I've said this like every single series since um, Arms Against Tyranny. I really do like the international market mechanic. I think it's very, very cool. Of course, we're not building anything. We're just buying rifles. And honestly, that actually might be better for us than building military factories, at least right now. Especially if we buy them from Russia. Yes, that does improve the Russian economy, but it does mean that Russia doesn't have those rifles. Because, I mean, you could theoretically stop trying to sell the rifles and they go back to your inventory. I don't know if the AI actually does that, but in the event that they do, we want to... We just want to... It's, it's a safety thing. Okay, the future of the Balkans. Our normal southern neighbor is getting weaker and weaker. With the Turks losing on all fronts, it's time for us to join uh, and gain our slice. However, we need allies to do so. Serbia would uh, look like a reliable partner, though their claims in the Macedonian region is problematic. We might be able to make them accept a deal on our terms, especially with their recent government change. Though talking with them might just be a waste of time, and perhaps we should just focus on destroying the Ottomans on our own, leaving them in the dust and claiming everything for ourselves. The clock is ticking, and we need to make a decision. I kind of think I do want to align with the Serbians at least a little bit. Gets all allies here, the Lone Liberator. Gives a ton of political power. Unlock several decisions allowing weapon purchases from great powers. You know what? This is, this is what happened more historically. We don't need the Serbians. Let, let's see if we can maybe do Lone uh, Liberator here. Balkan League formation has technically not failed yet. And stretch of conscription would be quite nice. Balkan League is victorious. Is in a faction of the odd with the Serbians, I should say. And this is if we lose. So does like does none of this stuff happen if does this get bypassed if I own this territory? Bypass the victorious or we own Ahrid. Okay, understandable then. Well, let's go for the urbanization here first. Onred is... which province here? Is it you? I'm not too sure. Or is it one of these guys? What was the name of the province? I just want to double check this. It is... Does not own Ahrid. Is it you? That's all I want. I want the search function. Where's Ahrid? Your Ahrid. Okay, okay. So if we take this territory, we just bypass that. Let's just get into our main um, political tree, which is nice. Because I don't want to have to worry about the Serbians. I mean, the Romanians the, and the Greeks might uh, 
not like us very much. What are you? You are 35 combo with. Holy shit. You are a 51 combat with unit. My god. Okay. Let's train up just two of you for now. We're missing artillery pieces. We're missing rifles. Which is not great. Next will be in 21 days. Next will be in 20 days. Okay, so it does take a little while for this to actually happen, but it's okay. It, it might take like a, a year to get all these deliveries in, but so be it. You know, I, I think it's still worthwhile for us to buy this equipment. And especially since we'll probably get some more factories somewhere in this tree. Probably we want to start industrialization, a uh, great economy. If we're going to try to solo the Ottomans, probably having our entire economy based on wheat might not be the, uh, the right choice. Because I, as far as I'm aware, wheat does not build rifles. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken there. Yeah, let's build some airships here. I might be mistaken somewhere. Maybe, maybe there is some sort of uh, wheat-fed rifle. But not in my current... Not in Sofia. Not in Sofia. Okay, so it looks like, like maybe... Deliver required... 750 rifles. So I said to finish in November of 1911. So about a year from now, you'll be done in June. Honestly, I think it's it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, yeah, so we do want to immediately consumer goods plus 20%, huh? Well, I think we have to do it. So we'll we'll take this go we'll we'll take this one. And then we we'll get a military factory, which would be quite nice. Two saline factories also would be lovely. Defense, soft attack and reliability, 10% hard attack and 25% piercing. You know what? I'll take you. Get some anti-tank weapons in here. Now, I know tanks might not be in the field for at least a little while. But I think preparing for the inevitability that if one day there will be tanks on our fronts, this makes sense for us to prepare. Yes, and you will deploy on this line. So most of you then, like what, you're, you're the 51, no, 35 combat with? Still like an absurdly, absurdly large unit. What about Theorist? 10%, I mean 10% reduction cost is pretty good. And we need 172 to get any of you, huh? I mean, I guess we just go for more political power gain, because you're, you're fine. You're, I'll never use you. You're kind of garbage, and you're also pretty much bad. So, I mean, we'll take Silent Workhorse, and then probably not even get a third uh, advisor, because I don't know if we need him. I mean, if there's a point where we have so much political power that I have no idea what to even do with it, then sure. Then then it makes sense. We, we can throw in maybe the... Actually, maybe we'll get a spy agency, and we can um, get the elusive gentleman. That would make sense for us, get two extra spies. Everyone else is actually hot garbage. They're they're all terrible, so we're not even gonna worry about them. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna look in their direction. Okay, so we can do Lone Liberator next. Once you're finished, but what do we need to do to actually invade? Again, I th I think we just wait for the Italians to do it, and then we can make our own uh our own maneuvers. I don't know if Serbia and Greece and Montenegro are going to act independently of us. And they might form their own alliance. I'm hoping that they don't. But it's entirely possible that they do. And that would be very sad for us. What do we need the tungsten for? This is for the artillery pieces. Is there anything we can maybe sell? I mean, you know what? Sell 50 support equipment? That could maybe be okay. We're not we're not using too much of it, so yeah. Germany, you want to buy it? It's worth four hundred uh, points here. And how much? How much do you? How much do you actually cost? Seventy two. So that's like a eight percent construction. That seems pretty good. I think it's worthwhile. Get that done. Okay, so we're about halfway done in all our deliveries here, which is fantastic. So if we were to 
I want to repro Chungri, but I want to do the Liberty's Gun Act. See what this actually does for us. Because if we can just buy rifles from the decision menu, that also works out pretty well. And we can modify our government again. What do we want? Industrial Research plus 10% is quite nice. Cavalry Genius, we haven't done that yet. Army Logistics is pretty good. Infantry Special is kind of garbage. At peace with Russian Empire. So theoretically, if we're at war with Russia, this, we actually lose you. Which is actually really, really bad. So, you know, let's go to extend the conscription. Ah, do we need it yet? What are we at? 2.5. Yeah, you know what? Extend the conscription. Let's get that going. We need to prepare for the war against the Ottomans. This makes sense. Oh, Nix is bypass because they spent the points on it. Ah, that's fine, actually. It's not that big of a deal. Your 1914 tech, way too expensive. Let's go with basic mortars. We can, uh, 5% more attack. Again, I'm not gonna say no. Soft attack, hard attack, breakthrough, armor piercing. All of these are, are quite nice for us. Economic capacity surplus of 388. Then we are using this for our current constructions. You're 14 as well. The navy, I mean, the navy is a weird spot. Can I do, actually, do I have naval invasion attack? I do, okay. We need to research aircraft engines. And I'm assuming that's going to be an engineering somewhere. Yes, it is. So let's research some aircraft engines. I would, um... What is this for? This is for artillery? Toad anti-take, toad anti-tear, toad artillery. I guess we'll take advanced barreling foraging. Seems okay. What can I do with you? Organization. Don't really want to spend my points on any of those. They don't, they don't seem quite, quite worthwhile to me. And what do we have here? We have one air specialist. We have one... We have two naval specialists as well. I mean, we might as well just take them at this point. Uh, infantry specialist. I don't want to take you. I would like cavalry genius as well. Um, we need cavalry tactics finished, though, which we don't unfortunately have at this exact uh, moment in time. In 15 days, lock several decisions allowing weapon purchase for great power. So we can buy rifles if we can buy artillery. I don't, I'm assuming they probably don't have any tanks, which is reasonable. Research the submarine technologies. I mean, sure, 91 days. It also gives a, a little bit of 1% boost for our research. I will say 1% I'm, doesn't sound great. I understand that. But 1% is 1% more than zero. I guess actually it's like, what? Infinitely more than zero? It, it doesn't really matter. It, it's good. And you require civilian factory use. Purchase Austrian cannons. British uniforms. I mean, he's actually seem incredibly cheap. Also, it seems like they might be broken. Because I can click on this. Finance local brigades. Okay, so this... I, I guess you can just order more uh, stuff than you actually have the economy for. Maybe it's because maybe it's because market contracts. The game doesn't realize that these are not actually free factories. They're being used for something. That's my best guess. I mean, it works. It, is it cheating? No, because the game is allowing me to do it. So I guess we go like two of you, and then let's train up like three cavalry as well. But, like, some of these guys are just massive. Can I actually... I actually, I guess you do have a different symbol here. Because you've got the, uh... The, the chevrons. So we will know who's our, uh, beefy boys. Yeah, let's also get research the howitzer. They're pretty good to have for support units. Uh, so we would like to get those into our army's ASAP. Bring out, bring out the big guns. What can we do here? I guess, like, the industrial research bonus... 
10% research is nice, especially since industry is usually one of those top priority techs you always want. You always want to research more industry. There's never a time when you're not really wanting to research something from the industry list. So always, so getting a 10% bonus on that, mwah, just mwah. We love, we love to see it. Okay, so we're almost done our uh, shipments from you. And we just bought, like, so, so much equipment. We are still missing rifles, but we are building up some pretty massive armies. So I completely understand that there's not enough guns to go around. Like, how many guns do you guys need? 2410. Damn, okay. We won't take you quite yet. I don't think it's necessary. Land doctrine reduction. You just add an extra 5% recruit population. Abs done. Yeah. Of course we'll take it. You would you would be a, a fool not to. We're gonna take research on you next. Two percent boost to everything. And you are what? How expensive are these? Two hundred and fifty. So a ten percent reduction is twenty five uh, army experience cheaper, which definitely does make a difference, for sure. Mona Lisa has been stolen. Well. You can't trust valuable artifacts in the hands of the French. I think we all knew this. But what else? What we also all know that this is gonna be a great time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.